Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Aquarius. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and it is for the week of January 25th through the 31st, but we all know, well, not everybody does, but most of us do, that the timing is fluid. Okay, so this could happen at any time in the next month. You know, it could be the it could be this week, could be the week after, whatever. And not every reading is for you. So let's just see what comes up. What do we have for Aquarius? What do we have for Aquarius for around the week of January 25th through the 31st? One card for an overall energy, please. Wheel of Fortune. So the Wheel of Fortune is good luck. It's being at the right place at the right time. Everything going in your favor. You're going in the right direction. Moving in a new direction. This is the end of a chapter. The beginning of a new one. It's a very positive change. So your life is changing for the better. Alright. So uh, good luck is on your side. Uh, this is fortune. A reward of some sort perhaps. Um, so yeah, the end of the cycle and the beginning of a new one. So this is very, very positive energy. Um, destined change, of course. Everything is going to go in the right direction. So you're going in the right direction. And you have some sort of... Wow, this is good luck. You have luck. Luck is on your side this week. Positive change. Might hear my stomach. It's just going all over the place. Claw. Be careful. Do not take risks. Yikes. Candle. You will be shown the way. Broken bridge. Unsuccessful outcome to a problem. Now that's interesting because the Wheel of Fortune, well, is typically luck is on your side. Maybe you consider it unsuccessful, but I consider it successful with the Wheel of Fortune. Um, sometimes you have to burn bridges and you may have to burn a bridge this week. You may have to, if you have to, it's for a good cause. It's for a good reason. Maybe there's a cycle that is ending in your life and you need to allow it to end. That may require you to burn a bridge. I mean, we have to burn bridges sometimes. So I, I'm thinking that's what you're going to end up doing. Um, it says, be careful, do not take risks. You know, you do need to be careful this week. I think that there is, obviously, if you have to burn a bridge with somebody, there's a reason for that. So I think that you do need to be careful this week. Um, you will be shown the way. So there's, there's, there's guidance here. There's guidance here. You're being guided in a new direction, but you still need to be careful because obviously there's somebody that you need to burn a bridge with, okay? And this person is probably working against you, but I feel like you're protected with the Wheel of Fortune card. I mean, that's a very positive energy. It's luck is on your side. Um, the wheel is spinning you. Life is always changing in a very positive manner. So this is a positive, it's a positive change. Uh, yeah. So what do we have for Aquarius? Destined change, of course. Six of Wands reverse. Now that is... I think you're up against somebody who is under a lot of social pressure. This person is having a hard time doing the right thing. This person is very controlling. They are being controlled by somebody. Could be a father figure, could be the government, could be social pressure. They can't do the right thing. Um, they're fighting with you. Somebody is going to be fighting with you. This is a fight. The battle isn't over yet. So you're, you're going to be, this is a fight. The battle isn't over. So you're going to be dealing with somebody that's not very spiritual. This person is not very enlightened. They um, may have received some poor counsel, you know, and they're listening to some poor advice. And you're not on the same page with this person anymore. This person may be questioning their authority. Could be a father figure. Doesn't have to be. This person is fighting for something because of power and control. Because of society. Because they may feel disgraced. Maybe they're embarrassed over something. Over loss. Because the six of wands in reverse is a loss. It's not a win. Okay, you'd be dealing with a loser. <laughs> no offense or anything. But I feel like whatever is happening, luck is on your side. 
luck is on your side, but you are dealing with somebody that is under a lot of social pressure and they're unwilling to um, give, right? They're not very spiritual. This is somebody you get, that you definitely need to burn a bridge with. Um, they're up against you. Unstable, insecure. You must take action. You must find your discipline. You're going to have to remain poised. Somebody's really going to test you. You're going to be tested this week. Um, there's some unfinished business here. There is some unfinished business. You have some, it's going to be emotional. You're going to be in your emotions. You may have to. Uh, do something out of self-love and that is burning the bridge with somebody maybe there's not going to be any closure maybe this person is you know flogging a dead horse and I, that's what I think I think you're dealing with somebody that is unsuccessful they're insecure they're not qualified they are um, lazy they're lazy they are in their emotions they are stuck in the present you're dealing with somebody that is stuck in the present that doesn't want to see you succeed by the looks of things. I feel like you are um, up against somebody who's not very, um, this person is very shallow, very superficial. Um, they don't want you to succeed at something. There's a lack of success with the world card reversed. That's a lack of success. I don't know if you're dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, could be dealing with a Taurus. Um, Hmm. There's somebody here that is insecure. They are unstable. They are not happy. This is somebody that um, is not enjoying their life right now. They're not enjoying their life, and they're very emotional. They're they're in their emotions, um, and they're. I feel like they're going to be fighting with you. They are going to be fighting with you. Hmm. Power reverse, lack of success, unfinished business, not learning from mistakes. Somebody's not learning from their mistakes. You're gonna have to be disciplined this week. You're gonna have to be. You may have you may have been involved with something that wasn't successful, and this person is is gonna be expressing something, their feelings to you. Maybe you've already broken this bridge with this person. Maybe they didn't really want to commit. They weren't ready for a commitment, you know, or they weren't ready for marriage. And now it feels like now, you know, there's some sort of change because the Wheel of Fortune is a change. You may have somebody that there's some unfinished business with. They're expressing their feelings towards you and you're going to have to be disciplined. You may have to be disciplined with your emotions. They, somebody may be playing on your emotions this week. Um... This person does not complete you, but they may they may be expressing themselves and saying, you know, I, I love you or something like that. And I'm not sure it's in all honesty, you know, what is this person doing? Um, could be dealing with Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, if I didn't say that already. Um, Six of Pentacles reversed. Now, this is a rejection, one-sidedness, not giving, not equal give and take. I think that you're dealing with somebody who has only given you crumbs or they haven't given you what you deserve. And I feel like there's unfinished business with this person. And I feel like they're insecure and they they um, they may want to rebuild something that is already broken. I think it's already broken. And I don't think that you should take this risk with this person. I do think that you have somebody that is going to be, you know, it feels like expressing feelings, being all emotional towards you and saying things like, are all lovey-dovey or whatever, but it won't end successfully. So that's why you need to be careful. This person may be giving you something emotional at the moment, but I don't feel like it will last. There's no long-term success here. And I feel like you're being, this is a chapter that has already ended. And I feel like you're being called to go in that new direction because there's no victory to be had. There's no real commitment. But I feel like there's somebody that may be expressing something to you that hasn't really given much to you in the past. You may need to say goodbye. You may, I mean, I feel like there is, there's, there is somebody that you do need to say goodbye to once and for all. You know, there's some sort of emotional disappointment here. There's uh, a need to not step backwards. Do not go backwards. Move forward. Move forward. You're going to be tested this week. 
you're 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 going to be tested. Your 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 confidence, your self worth, your self your self worth, and your self confidence is going to be tested. Um, Three of Cups. Now a reunion or celebration. Somebody maybe want a reunion with you. They may have gotten themselves involved with a third party and now they're lonely. You know, they're alone, you know, and maybe it's ended with that third party. Maybe the third party has walked away. They're not receiving any attention and they're looking for something from you. I think that whoever you're dealing with is, is probably narcissist material. This is a tyrant, somebody that may have deserted you in the time of need. This is somebody that um, is mean-spirited, that isn't very experienced, that probably wants, you know, that is power-hungry and wants to keep the power over you. And that's what a narcissist does. You know, when they start to lose their power or their control, when they see that you've moved on, that's when they hoover or swoop back in to regain their power. And that's exactly what I think this is. Now, I feel like you're, yeah, I feel like... Uh, there's an abuse of power here and somebody wants the power. They may, Maybe you've left. Maybe you've left the situation. Maybe you're no longer communicating with them and they, you know, um, need some sort of, they may say they need closure or something like that or that it's not over yet or uh, words of love. I feel like they're going to be expressing words of love, but it's not, it's not real. I don't feel like it's real with the Six of Pentacles reversed. I feel like they'll give you what you need at the moment, but it doesn't lead to long-term success. So this week, I think I think that you need to be careful. You should not go backwards. You should continue to move forward. I think that you're dealing with somebody that hasn't been successful with in the past. They weren't really committed. They may have involved themselves in a third party. They're feeling alone. They don't want to be alone. They're looking for attention. And I feel like they're going to be seeking you out for that attention. Um, one more card for Aquarius. Whew. This is wasted time. It's too late. I feel like somebody has wasted a lot of, they've already wasted a lot of your time. You know, this is, there's been a delay. There's been a lack of foresight. This person didn't see. They didn't see your value until it's too late. It's too late. So I think that you, that you need to be careful. You need to keep going in the direction that you are going. Do not let this person get prepared for an arrival or something like that. And, you know, this is somebody who may want to celebrate. They may want to have drinks with you or party with you or get together with you, you know. And it's because they're lonely and they've been rejected by somebody else. It's too late. Good luck. It's too late. I mean, that's what that is. The ship has sailed. So maybe that's what you need to say. It's too late. Good luck. 